yo, what's up? It's the boy D Sims, man. I am behind the mix with producer Brian, man. I'm finna tell y'all today how I mix this record by T Hood featuring Hoover's Power One. It's called Tight and it's produced by DJ Plug and it's coming up on their upcoming project, Flex Guy Mafia. You ever see me walk? Always see me floating every day, I drop my top. Used to hide grains in my socks. I knew T Hood for a while. Um, just from just hanging hanging around, and then we just kind of clicked, and ever since then I just been kind of his personal engineer. So when he decided to put the project together with DJ Plug and Bobby Cooper, he just kind of dragged me along. Glock bad, what I told. Boy, you smoking on the roach. I just bought a bag to blow. I don't walk, I just float. He actually recorded himself. T Who recorded himself. I taught him how to use my template. And so I be so busy sometimes that, you know what I'm saying, I have to go to other studios or I can't be there all the time. So he recorded the record itself, got pop on the verse, sent it to me, you know, cleaned it up, pieced it all together. Yeah, smash, now I'm ready. You just have to trust your ears and trust your gut and just kind of master your craft and know what music is supposed to sound like. So I guess I play the record from the top. Down, DJ Plug, you did too. Plus, you my Andre. Never see me walk. Always see me floating. Every day I drop my top. Used to hide grains in my socks. Watch out for the cops. Every day I switch my watch. Balenciaga cost some guap. All the jewelry cost a lot. Where you at to drop a dot? Don't hit my phone and shit too hot. Pull up on the motorbike. Fuck it if you think you pipe. Where I'm from, we keep the pipe. Shout to keep that pussy tight. Shout to keep that pussy right. It's gonna be one hell of a night. Yeah, wait, where my sprite? Yeah, wait, need me a light. Yeah, wait, too much ice. Yeah, no, this shit hit with no light. All of this hate is fight, yeah. Don't fight, nah. Ever since a young nigga, all I knew about nigga, I just let them all nigga. I got cash in my safe. Pull up, nigga wanna race. Pussy nigga like the hate. Ooh, I just broke the bank. Drinking the water, I pull me in. Hey, the shot of Cologne trying to fuck something. Never see me walk. Always see me floating. Every day I drop my top. Used to hide grains in my socks. Watch out for the cops. Every day I switch my watch. Balenciaga cost some guap. All the jewelry cost a lot. Where you at to drop a dad? Don't hit my phone and shit too hot. Pull up on the motorbike. Fuck you if you think you pop. Girl, I'm from the key to pipe. Shout out to you, that pussy tight. You know the fuck it, I came from nothing. I wear that two wide. Fuck with no safety, I'm two cap. She run the deal like a motorcycle. Water on my neck like I'm baptized. I'm the one that made the foul get right. Yeah, I wanna get in on my. Little bitch ain't no dime. I like it better when I hit from behind. I skate, I know how to grind. All day, they're wasting my time. I'm strapped up, that baby ain't mine. Rockin' the sign of different kinds. Never see me walk, nigga, I'm fly. But listen, triple lessons, key lime pie. Came from the hood, but now I'm in Dubai. The money in my mattress, I don't lie. Little sad nigga, married to pie. Never see me walk. Always see me floating. Every day I drop my top. Used to hide grains in my socks. Watch out for the cops. Every day I switch my watch. Balenciaga cost some guap. All the jewelry cost a lot. Where you at to drop a dime? Don't hit my phone and shit too hot. Pull up on the motorbike. Fuck you if you think you pipe. Where I'm from, we keep the pipe. Shout to keep that pussy tight. Cool, cool. That sounded pretty good. So I guess um I started from top. We'll start with uh, T Hood's vocals. Um. We'll go into his verse. You know, usually I start, sometimes when I mix, I usually start with the verse, you know what I'm saying, because it's more consistent, you know, with the rapping. And once I kind of get the vocals out, how I like them, I kind of copy and paste the settings to the hook and kind of adjust them there. So, um, we'll solo his, his verse. Not in a good kind of way. We can hear you on the sticks. <laughs> All right, so we're going to his verse. Shout to keep that pussy right. It's gonna be one hell of a night. Yeah, wait, pat my sprite. Yeah, wait, need me a light. Huh, wait, too much ice. Yeah, no, this shit hit with no light. Yeah, all of that soda is spiked. Yeah. 
Don't fight. Nah. Ever since a young nigga, all I knew about nigga. I started with some EQ just to clean it up. Probably pulled out like around 160 right here just to get, you know what I'm saying, some low end out. Uh, 300s and the 500s to get some mud out. Uh, some ringing noise right here in 600. And also right here in the like next to 2K. Just to kind of show you, show you how I'm taking out. Shout to keep that pussy right. It's gonna be one hell of a night. Yeah, wait, pat my sprite. Yeah, wait, need me a light. Huh, wait, too much ice. Yeah, no, this shit hit with no light. Yeah, all of that soda is spiked. Yeah, don't fight. Nah, ever since a young nigga, I. After that, I got this Pui Chow, Pui Chow 660, and it's doing some compression. I got it really tight just to kind of. Um, really just put the vocals really forward you know i got it kind of pushing up you know i just to to keep that push it right it's gonna be one hell of a night yeah wait pat my sprite yeah wait need me a light huh wait too much ice yeah no this shit hit with no light yeah all of that soda is spiked yeah don't fight nah and i use this meter right here just to kind of just let me see how much i want to bring the gain up and i kind of adjust it from there so Shout to keep that pussy right. It's gonna be one hell of a night. And then next is I got this F SSL channel, and this kind of does like the bulk of the work for the vocals. Let me show y'all in a minute. Cool. And. The SSL channel, it does everything you want. It does EQ, it does compression. It has a gate, it has an expand, expander on there. It has everything that you can use to really get the vocal how you want. So, um, for his vocal, what I did is I put a filter at like 140, just to really get a lot of the um, low end out. And then I did low shelf at 121, and that really helped. And then um, I kind of, Bring, bring in like the tone of his voice in the 5k you know uh, a lot of vocals they kind of range between 2k and 6k depending on male female low you know what I'm saying high pitch voice you know whatever so you kind of just kind of sweep around Shout to keep that pussy right. It's gonna be one hell of a night. Yeah, wait, pat my sprite. Yeah, wait, need me a light. Huh, wait, too much ice. Yeah, no, this shit hit with no light. Yeah, all of that soda is spiked. Yeah, don't fight. Nah, ever since a young nigga, all I knew was. Yeah, just kind of balance it out from there. And then I got a high shelf of 9K just to kind of bring that pop, you know what I'm saying, that high, sh high quality sheen to his voice. You know what I'm saying? Just to make them, you know, sound more brighter and less dull. And then after that, I got a three to one, well, three to zero ratio. And kind of some pretty fast release and a slow attack on some compression on his vocals. And that's pretty much it on the um, SSL channel. But that really did a lot of, a lot of the work I showed you, like before and after. Shout to keep that pussy right. It's gonna be one hell of a night. Yeah, wait, pat my sprite. Yeah, wait, need me a light. Huh? Listen now. Shout to keep that pussy right. It's gonna be one hell of a night. Yeah, wait, pat my sprite. Yeah, wait, need me a light. And so I kind of got the same thing for like he has a background vocal right here. Ooh, I just broke the bank. Drinking a water, pull me a. And I chopped and screwed his voice, and I did that by duplicating. So I hold Alt, drag it down, pitch shift. Probably do like six semitones, negative six. Pussy nigga like the hate. Ooh, I just broke the bank. Chucking a wall, I pull me a hate. That's how you can pretty much do it. You know, just a quick way and just kind of blend the taste. And then I got his ad libs right here. Eat that pussy right. And I did the same clean up compression. You got an SSL channel, but I just got it on the filter preset just to kind of give it the telephone, just to make a tuck in the back. 
and then I got this pan man right here by sound so and that's you know make them go left and right just to kind of bounce around just to kind of give them some movement and they'll be out the way of the lead vocal you know what I'm saying that you know everything has to have its own space so I try to have little tip you know tricks and techniques that you know what I'm saying just kind of give everything some space so. that's pretty much the main like for the on what's on the vocal track and then we go into his bus right here so I have all his vocals to his own bus it's a hood box right here from the hook all um, from the hook to his verse as well so then I'll go through that Try to keep the pencil right it's gonna be one hell I got this vocal writer right here and I just use the vocal writer because this is a good like uh good thing to use if you don't want to automate I still autom automate or I go in and, you know what I'm saying, uh, adjust the clips manually, but it kind of catches everything that I, you know, miss or, you know what I'm saying, it kind of just help, you know, just push everything up, you know, a little evenly, so. I got Child to keep that pencil right, yeah. it's gonna be one hell of a night. Yeah. Wait, pay my Sprite. Uh, yeah. Wait, need me a light. As you see, if every time it, like, you know, his vocal jumps up, it kind of pulls it down, or, you know what I'm saying, all his low parts, it'll, you know, push it, push the volume up and kind of keep it at an even tone. And then after that, I got SSL compression on it, just to kind of glue his voice. Just get, give it a little warmth too. That's why I like the SSL, it kind of, it has this little animal but it sounds great. Try to keep that pencil right, it's gonna be one hell of a night. Yeah, wait, pay my sprite. Yeah, wait, need me a light. Yeah, wait, too much ice. Yeah, no, this shit hit with no light. After that, I got this R box. Man, this is like my little secret weapon. I love this thing right here. R box for real. Like, it just gives the vocal just like so much presence, just warmth. And it's like just real crunchy. Like, it, it's like night and day when I turn it off. Like, Try to keep that pencil right. It's gonna be one hell of a night. Yeah. Wait. Pat my sprite. Yeah. Wait. Need me a light. Yeah. Wait. Too much ice. Yeah. No, this shit hit with no light. Yeah. All of that soda is spiked. Yeah. yeah. Don't fight. Crazy. After that, I got this C4, and the C4 just kind of helped me shape the vocal how I want to. It's a multi-band compressor, and what it means is that it splits compression into, you know, saying the frequency bands. It's kind of like if you mix an EQ and compress at the same time. And so I kind of just use that just to really just kind of mold it how I want. So I, you know, I'm saying got the mid-range popped up a little more. You know, I said I had a little brightness. You know, kind of kept the middle range voice kind of even and then I kind of yeah I used it to kind of take out the rest of the low end that I really didn't want in there so I could play like a sentence with it Try to keep that pencil right, it's gonna be one hell of a night. Yeah, wait, pay my sprite. Yeah, wait, need me a light. Yeah, wait, too much ice. Yeah, no, this shit hit with no light. Yeah, all of that soda is spiked. Yeah, don't fight. Nah. And then after that, I got this Manny Mariquin. I got some distortion on his voice. I love distortion, it's just really makes vocals pop out just to kind of give it a little grit especially for trap vocals like a lot of time a lot of artists like they don't like their vocals too clean they like a little grit to it so i usually might eat add some distortion and just kind of just blend and taste and it just really just get his vocal a little sheen but at the same time just a little dirt to it so i'll take it off and you can see it before and after Try to keep that pencil right, it's gonna be one hell of a night. Yeah, wait, pay my sprite. Yeah, wait, need me a light. Yeah, wait, too much ice. Yeah, no, this shit hit with no light. Yeah, all of that soda is spiked. Yeah, yeah, don't fight. Nah. Ever since a young nigga, all I knew. Yeah, man, little secret weapons. Pretty much they call it like parallel compression when you take like a distorted signal and you kind of blend and taste. So I just kind of took that and just find a distortion that I like. I usually use different distortion. I might use the Capitator. I might use Camo Crusher. Uh, I might use the one that comes with um, Pro Tools. I just kind of, you know, say mess around, blend and taste. After that, I got this DSer right here. 
Try to keep that pussy right. Yeah. It's gonna be one hell of a night. Yeah. Wait, pat my sprite. Uh, yeah. Wait, need yeah. me a light. Yeah. Wait, too much ice. Yeah. No, that shit hit with no light. Yeah. Uh. And I got it set to 4,500. You know, just saying, it's just a good little sweet spot just to kind of really catch all them high ends. And I just got it settings to where only his, when his S's and P's pop, like it really just catch those. It really doesn't touch like the rest of the vocals like that. So, you know, just help with the S's and, you know what I'm saying, tame the high end of the uh, vocal. Try to keep that pussy right. Yeah. It's gonna be one hell of a night. Yeah. Wait, pat my sprite. I got this S1 imager right here. And what it does is just widen the vocal. I widen my vocals a lot because, you know what I'm saying, I want to give it like a big feeling. And also it helps like if there's any mud in the mid range, it just kind of, it kind of just kind of scoops it out and just spreads it. So it kind of cleans up the vocal at the same time. It's really crazy. Try to keep that pussy right. Yeah. It's gonna be one hell of a night. Yeah. Wait, pat my sprite. Uh, yeah. Wait, need me a light. Yeah. yeah. Wait, too much ice. Yeah. No, that shit hit with no light. It just make the vocal pop out so much more. After that, I have this L1 limiter just to kind of get my vocals really up there, just really tight. You know, just saying, just really get them to the level I want and just kind of make sure just they're in your face. And also, I use the L1 because I just think it has a little clean sound to it rather than other uh, limiters. I might use an, other limiters for like you know, my master bus or something like that. But maybe my drums, but I use this one for my vocals. Try to keep that pussy right. It's gonna be one hell of a night. Yeah. Wait, pat my sprite. Yeah. Wait, need me a light. Yeah. Wait, too much ice. Yeah. No, that shit hit with no light. Yeah. All of that sound is spiked. Yeah. 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 And then after that, I got a gate. And this really helps get rid of background vocals. I mean, uh, not the background vocals, but gets rid of background noise. And I just kind of just set it to a Try to keep that pencil right. To it's going to be one hell. See if you pull it out too much. It's going to take away the vocals. Like, yeah. Wait, too much ice. Or make it sound really choppy. So you just kind of turn it down, just blend it to Try to keep that pussy right. It's gonna be one hell of a night. Yeah. Wait. Pat my sprite. Yeah. It ain't a cure all, but it helps out a lot for the you know background noise. So when you hear it, and with the music, you know what I'm saying you barely hear anything. Period. So uh, that's pretty much it for T Hood vocals. We can go into Pablo Juan's verse. Um, pretty much for Pablo Juan, I kind of just not in my pretty much same. I just kind of uh, just adjust it my set is based to his voice. I usually kind of, if there's two different artists, I'll create different buses for them and just kind of, you know what I'm saying, if I want the same tone for their voice, I'll, you know what I'm saying, use the same plugins and just adjust it just to cater to their voice. If not, if I'm trying to go for something different, I might have two different chains for them, you know what I'm saying? But I, for them, they record it on the same microphone, you know what I'm saying, same studio. Um, so I didn't have to do too much, you know, any different. There's a lot of times I get a lot of sessions and one person recorded their verse at this studio, another person recorded their another studio all the way across the country and they're using two different mics and they sounded completely different. I have to, kind of, I have to do things to kind of give them a similar tone. So uh, luckily I had to do that this time. So a lot of my settings are just pretty much the same. So I, I'll run it through one more, I'll pull them up and run it through one more time, you know, for Pablo Juan, but you know what I'm saying? Not much to do. I don't want to fuck with yeah. the good. Yeah. 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 fuck it, I came for nothing. No, what, two ways? Yes. No safety, I'm too packed. She rather did like a motorcycle. Yeah. Water on my neck like I'm baptized. Yeah. I'm the one that make the Falcon rise. Yeah, I want to get in her mind. Right here, I took a huge dip <laughs> at like 112. He just had this real, I don't know, bass, like just heavy bass in his voice that was really like getting away. And I just took it out enough where it just cleaned him up, but I didn't want to take away all the bass in his voice. You know what I'm saying? And also, uh, in the other EQ, I just kind of brung it back and brung some of that bass back because, you know what I'm saying, naturally he has a bassy voice, but I just wanted to get it clean yet. You know what I'm saying? Bass. I don't want to, nigga. Fuck with yeah. 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 
Ew, yeah. fuck it, I came from nothing, I was two wax. Drop with no safety, I'm two cap. She rubbed the dick like a motorcycle. Put the water on my neck like I'm baptized. I'm the one that make the falcon rise. Yeah, I wanna get in her mind. Broke little bitch, ain't no dime. I like it better when I hit from behind. I skate, I know how to grind. Food child. Then I got the SSL again. Fuck it, I came from nothing, I was too wild. Drop with no safety, I'm too cap. She rubbed the dick like a motorcycle. Hard water on my neck like I'm baptized. I'm the one that make the falcon rise. Yeah, I wanna get in her mind. Broke little bitch, ain't no dime. I like it better when I hit from behind. I skate, I know how to grind. On date, that would. Pretty much SSL channel, pretty much similar. I took out uh, 300 right here for the low end, just did a low show. Cause I had that real bass. I, I really need to play it. Got so y'all can really hear what I really took out. I don't want it. Fuck it, I came from nothing, I was too wild. Drop with no safety, I'm too cap. She rubbed the dick like a motorcycle. Hard water on my neck like I'm baptized. I'm the one that make the falcon rise. Yeah, I wanna get in her mind. Broke little bitch, ain't no dime. I like it better when I... You see how he had a lot of bass in his voice? It can even get away of the beat when you're trying to play the vocals with the beat. So I just try to, you know what I'm saying, get out smoothly as much as I can, but make it still sound natural. And then after that, we got your eyelids, same thing. Got the filter on it, Pan Man, doing the same thing. And then we'll get into this bus, which is pretty much, like I said, is similar to T-Hood's. Hello, on in. Fuck my Fuck it, I came from nothing, I was too wild. Drop with no safety, I'm too cap. She rubbed the dick like a motorcycle. Hard water on my neck like I'm baptized. I'm the one that make the falcon rise. Yeah, I wanna get in her mind. Broke little bitch, ain't no dime. I like it better when I hit from behind. I skate, I know how to grind. On date, that wasted my time. I'm strapped up, that baby ain't mine. Rocket designer, different kind. Never see me walk, nigga, I fly. But listen, triple S's, key lime pie. Came from the hood, but now I'm in Dubai. Money in my mattress, I don't lie. Who said, nigga, American pie? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much similar. I used the many M on it. I just wanted, like I said, it's just the same tone. You know, I didn't want to go too far fetch. It's, you know, it's trap music, not rocket science. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? I just want to give the sound that the artist want. I just went from there. Um, I have reverb here, I used the R verb. Yeah, I use a. Uh, Vocal, pre vocal plate preset that Albert pretty much like. And I got this true verb right here. This uh, vocal spread. This is really just uh, get that reverb depth. Uh, did some EQing on the reverb. Just to kind of, you know what I'm saying, um, let it tuck behind the vocals and, you know, just uh, give some vocal, give the vocals some space with the reverbs. So I did that like. Yeah, like 2K. I got Imager right here. Just to kind of widen my uh, reverb, just to give it big space. And then you got the SSL channel, just to give it some warmth right there. It don't really do nothing. Delay, H delay. 140. Put some EQ on it. Just so they can, so my delays can tuck. And then uh, this effects bus, bus I have a uh, CLA seventy six. It's a, a compressor from Waves. Uh, I like the UAD too. You know, it's a, the UAD version is pretty nice too. Um, got on the black the black side, and then I got it on some heavy uh, compression, and I EQ'd it, EQ the low end out. And what this is, this is a bus for parallel compression, and it just helped, that's what really helped. Uh, bring the weight back in the vocals, especially when I did all the cleanup. So like I'll play with that with that. Fuck like yeah. 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 Fuck it, I came from nothing, I was too wild. Drop with no safety, I'm too cap. She rubbed the dick like a motorcycle. Hard water on my neck like I'm baptized. I'm the one that make the falcon rise. Yeah, I wanna get in her mind. Broke little bitch ain't no dime. I like it better when I hit from behind. I skate, I know how to grind. Oh, yeah. That's it for the vocals. I I can show you what I did to the beat. Okay. 
Is the, is the track out or is it two tracks? No, nah, it's two tracks. Uh, a lot of times, like, I don't be having time to deal with the track outs a lot, unless it's like the project made for it. A lot of times, you know, especially with, you know, dealing with a couple of producers, you know what I'm saying, they don't want to give the track outs or this happened, that happened, you know, they lost a beat. You know, it's so many scenarios that can happen, so sometimes you're stuck with dealing with two tracks. So, you know what I'm saying, I just did some things to kind of make the instrumental pop. I just kind of like mastered the beat in a sense. You know what I'm saying, just cleaned it, cleaned up. Just kind of make it sound how I would want my beats to sound. And just, you know what I'm saying, went the, uh, on the beat. With this SSL comp, it really helped make the beat pop. I'm gonna take everything off, show y'all. I said the SSL, <clears throat> the SSL compressor, what it did, it make the drums kind of even out a little more and then also pop, make the instruments pop out in the mix a little more without even having two tracks. So, uh, you know, I got it on some slow attack, some pretty fast, uh, kind of fast release just because it's an up-tempo beat and, you know what I'm saying, just to kind of make it keep up to the one, to the one ratio and just kind of do some makeup. And then after that, I added uh, this Puitek EQ just to kind of, uh, you know, brighten the, brighten the instrumental up and also bring some bass out of it a little more. Next, I used this Puitek EQ. And what it did, it just really um, brings some brightness to the instrumental. And I just added probably a little uh, on from the low end and just really just kind of enhanced the beat a little bit just so it just stick out. And I like this EQ because it added a little warmth to it too. You see right here, you got a little dirt to it, literally. <laughs> so you know, I like that. It didn't really give that clean EQ, it just kind of gave some warmth, but it, some brightness at the same time. Uh, after that, I used our bass on the low end just to really get the low end to hit how I want to. I just kind of, you know what I'm saying, dialed in the frequency I wanted and kind of just blended the taste. Plug Armor got that anyway hitting damn near perfect. I just wanted to emphasize on what he was doing. That's all, you know what I'm saying? Nothing special. Just want to really have him, when it hit in the car or when it hit on the radio, like boom, just booming bass. You know what I'm saying? What he's known for. And then last but not least, I used this Wave Center plugin right here. And what that did, it just kind of give the beat some width and just help um, balance it out between the drums and the uh, instruments. So, you know, this knob right here controls the center of the uh, of the wave file and this controls the size and then you can control how much it focuses on from the low end, the high end, and the, you can control the train that's punch right here that has a master knob. So I just used it kind of just not only, I just kind of spread the, the beat out, just not only just to give it a, a wide mix, but also just to make space for the vocals too. You know, with the two track, that's a lot, you know, it's a little technique that I used on my instruments, on, the, on my instrumentals, on my two track. Uh, sometimes I might use like the Isotope Ozone, you know, uh, Imager, they, that's pretty good, you know what I'm saying, just to kind of give that space, you know, on your two tracks. My master bus. I just did some SSL comp, just to really just glue them, mix together. It just to help really 
give it like a unison sound so it don't sound like beat vocals, you know what I'm saying, sound as one. Never see me walk, always see me floating, every day I drop my top. Release the high runs in my socks, watch out for the cops, every day I switch my watch. Let's see, I would cost a guap, all the jury costs a lot. After that, I used this Kramer Master Tech by Waze. And what it did is just use, I used this Master Soft Clean Compression. I usually use this on my Master sometimes. I like it because it just gave me an analog uh, sound to my mix, to my final mix, and it just helped glue everything together. I uh, usually turn this noise button off, you know what I'm saying, so it won't give it a fuzz that I don't really want. And just kind of. Never see me walk, always see me floating, every day I drop my top. Release the high runs in my socks, watch out for the cops, every day I switch my watch. Let's see, I would call some guap, all the jury. Next on the master, I got the Isotope Ozone 7 imager. And it just really made the mix just sound wide and full I want to and then I also dialed, dialed in on the bass a little bit more. Fun fact, if you hit this learn button right here, it'll actually listen to your mix and kind of just adjust the settings from here. Like watch. Never see me walk. Always see me floating. Every day I drop my top. Release the high runs in my socks. Watch out for the cops. Every day I switch my watch. Let's see, I would call some guap. All the jury costs a lot. Where you at? Just drop a dot. Don't hit my phone and shit too hot. Pull up on a motorbike. Fuck it if you don't keep hot. Where I'm from, we keep the pipe. Shout to keep that pussy tight. Shout to keep that pussy right. It's gonna be one hell of a night. And then after that, I just got this Waves L3. Multi-maximizer multi limiter. Just hit the kind of preset, and just kind of adjust my thresholds to kind of how I want it. Never see me walk, always see me floating. Every day I drop my top. Release the high runs in my socks. Watch out for the cop. And then I kind of turned down my output ceiling just a little bit so it won't hit all the way on zero, just to give me a little headroom in the mix. And that's about it. What's up, man? It's D-Sons, man, and I'm behind the mix with Producer Grind, man. I just showed y'all how I did this T-Hood, Power One record, tight. It's out on radio. It's out on iTunes. Make sure y'all check it out. Apple Music, Spotify, everything. Make sure y'all check out Flesh Out Mafia when it drops. Make sure y'all check out the Hood Cashes project when it drops, and make sure y'all check out Crackers Back 2 when it drops. Mafia. <laughs>